Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be heading back over to the Cambridge Police Station to help out Paladin Dance. But before we do, let's go ahead and put some levels into our character here. I went ahead and I leveled up two times from building up Sanctuary. The first thing I'm going to put in is Hacker. It's up to you if you want to put it into Local Leader. For those of you that aren't doing the whole settlement building and are leveling up alongside me you could probably put points into gunslinger definitely gun nut will be maxing that out eventually you'll be able to put another point into gun nut so gunslinger gun nut and action boy that's definitely one i'll get and ninja Ninja definitely is one that I love to get as well. So if, if you're not doing the settlement building stuff, just instead of doing local leader, do one of those uh, gun nut, gunslinger, uh, action boy, or just do whatever you want. There, that's always a thing too. I did build up sanctuary quite a bit now. I have it completely enclosed. And over there is starting to look pretty cool. Up there is where my mute fruit is being planted now. Let's go ahead and go into our pit boy. We're on the right mission. And we are going to go over to the Cambridge Police Station. I'll see everybody over there. Paladin Dance. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck? Sir, mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Good. Paladin Dance. Good, you're back. Aelin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the recon team. He shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Are you upset that I'm staying? Maybe. Got enough trouble stomping muties and ferals. I don't need something else to worry about. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you... You need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Don't worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. Now, before I release you to Halen and Reese for your assignments, there's one last order of business. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of Initiate. This is only a training rank. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher than that. Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad Victorium, Initiate. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I need you to report to Halen or Reese for your next assignment. Dismissed, soldier. So before we report to Reese, we're not going to report to Halen 
and get a quest. If you want to, you can, but she's going to send you somewhere completely random. Uh, I can't curate that, but you're more than welcome to take a quest on for from her. Not for her, from her. Reese will always send you to College Square, which is right outside here. So we're going to talk to Reese. It doesn't matter which one you talk to. We just got to do a quest for one of them. I want you to take it easy for a while, Reese. You almost bought it when those ferals rushed us. Don't worry about me, sir. I can still pull my own weight. I said, take it easy. That means no long-range patrols or recon sweeps until further notice. Understood, Knight? Yes, sir. Excuse me. All right, out with it. What's your game? Game? What do you mean? I can usually size people up at a glance, but you... You're different. And it's bugging the heck out of me. You're not the military type. You're a loner. So I can't figure out why you're sticking around. You got what you wanted, so why don't you hit the road? The Brotherhood might be the best chance I'll ever have to find my son. Well, as far as reasons go, that's a pretty good one. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna cut you some slack because Dance trusts you. But if you step out of line and put any of my brothers or sisters in danger, I'll make sure you regret it. So, ready for your assignment, hero? What's your problem? My problem is I can't figure you out. You come from out of the blue, take down a few ferals, and suddenly you're all buddy-buddy with Paladin Dance. I don't know if you're serious about being a part of the Brotherhood, or you're just biding your time until you find whatever it is you're looking for. Either way, until you tuck a few of these assignments under your belt, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you. Now, you ready to go or what? Ready. Then listen up. Like it or not, one of our most important duties is to keep the Commonwealth clear of the trash. I'm talking about mutants, ghouls, synths. The abominations the damn eggheads caused when they started playing with their toys. This op is simple. I'm gonna send you to a target, and you're gonna terminate everything that calls it home. All the details you need are right here. Don't come back until the job's done. Let's talk to Scribe Halen. Scribe? Ree still giving you the cold shoulder. Why does he hate me? He doesn't hate you. Reese bleeds brotherhood. It's all he cares about. It's his family. It's his whole life. If anything else comes into the picture and gets in the way, he shoves it aside. Is there something between the two of you? When I first joined up, Reese is the one who sponsored me. He took me under his wing, showed me the ropes. I thought there was a little more between us, so I asked him if he cared about me that way. He told me the Brotherhood of Steel was all that he cared about, and there was no room for anything else in his life. We never spoke about it again. Look, I... I need to get back to things. If you're worried about Reese, just keep doing what you're doing. He'll come around soon enough. So, are you ready to take on your first assignment? No, I need more time. That's all right. I understand. Grab whatever you need and check back with me when you're ready. Get moving. That location isn't going to clear itself. Let's go into our pit boy. We're going to put on cleansing the Commonwealth. And it's going to have us clear out College Square. Let's go through the door. We're gonna crouch, we're gonna have quite a few feral ghouls. We're just gonna go around and we're gonna clear out all of College Square. Finally got a silencer on this gun. Got it.
Disarm that. This is going to fall as we cross it. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought I could cross it fast enough while crouched. Apparently not. It's all right. We still got a cross. Got a cap stash and some 10 millimeter rounds. There's a ghoul over there. I can see him. There we go. Holy shit. I didn't even see that ghoul. That's fucking hilarious. While I was killing his friends, he was busy eating a... I don't know what he was eating. Something. Here's another cap stash. There is a landmine right there if you want to pick it up. Oh, I already messed that one up. It's all right, it's not that big of a deal. Now we can come over here, loot these ghouls. Okay, that ghoul's dead. It's like, is he sleeping or is he dead? He is dead. D-E-D, -E -D, dead. Come on, dog meat. You're trapping me in this trailer. Move it. Move it, dog. You don't have to clear this out. I just like to for the whole role-playing experience. That ghoul fell down. We're not going to go out here because it's just going to send us behind here and there's really not anything over here to grab. Besides going over there, there's an elevator that'll take you all the way up to the top if that's something you want to do. Not necessary. At least for me, it's not necessary. Move, dog meat. Holy moly, I was trying to come back in. He's blocking my path.
Where'd that ghoul go? I know he's in here. I grab that gold watch. Sweet. Leave my dog alone. Wherever he went, and I thought <laughs> he ran away. He's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. You got this, Mr. Wayne. Dog meat really does look like a badass, though. And then that's it for right here. You can hop on down. They're everywhere. You think you kill them all and they still have more that pop up. It's insane. They're like, where are they all coming from? We're almost done exploring over here. Combat, chest piece, left leg, perfect. Now we're starting to get our combat armor. We definitely want that. We're going to be switching over to combat armor once we get a full set for the legs, the arms, and we have the chest. So we got one arm, one leg, or no, we got one leg and one chest. My bad. And then some other pieces too that I can't remember, but they're they're back at Sanctuary. But just as soon as I get all of them, know that I will be putting the combat armor on. Yes. Over there is a Cambridge police station for anybody that wants to go in there. Oh, that's where we came from. My bad. Is it? No, it's not. Okay. Got it. Yeah, I was like, I, th I think I'm missing a chest. It's because I was not paying attention. Story of my life. Just gonna jump over dog meat at this point. Alright, we made it full circle. We cleared out College Square, and now we have to go into College Square Station, which is right there. But first, we want to pick this up. This is going to give us a marker for Easy City Downs. So we'll be able to go over there eventually. Nice. Dog meat, you're being obnoxious again. Let's go ahead and turn on our pit boy lamp and then go through these doors. really careful there is a trap there's a ghoul right there another one right there 
And then we can open this door. And there's a ghoul right here. Yes. Tuxedo, yes please. Grab a cap stash right here. Over here we have a raider. And then over here we're going to have a ghoul that's going to climb down. And then I guess kind of fall through the world. Kind of, sort of. Nothing really over there to loot. But if we come over here, we're going to get a ton of chems. All this buff out. There's some jet over here. Grab ourselves some Nuka Cola Cherry, and then we're gonna lockpick this door. That's it. Grab all that stuff up, and then we're gonna grab the Live and Love magazine. Perfect. This magazine is awesome. It will up your companion's damage that they inflict by 5%. Love this magazine. Plus, the cover looks really cool. Let's go ahead and hack this terminal. It's going to turn on multiple protectrons. Powering up. Protectron on duty. I'm going to come down to the right here. Be careful. Attention. There's oil on the floor. This is now we'll catch a fire. Combat zone. You may suffer harm. <laughs> If you remain in the area, this notice required by law. Right here is the ghoul that we need to kill. It's a pretty easy mission. I would not advise blowing this up because there's a key right here. And this will let you Please unlock all the doors over clear. here. This is now a free fire zone. little journal scrap for anybody that wants to read a little lore on what happened down here. Dog meat? Dog meat, move! I'm gonna send you to the post-apocalyptic humane society, man. Sweet. We can get in that over there, I believe. Ghoul eating a dead raider. Ghouls are essentially zombies in the Fallout world. 
for anybody that's wondering. Thought we could get in over there. Hold on. We're going to backtrack just a little bit because I do want to go in that train car. I was pretty sure that we could get in over there, but I guess not. We gotta come over here. Sorry about that, everybody. Yes. There's not much else over here. But I did want to be able to loot some of this stuff. Because I'm a loot whore. I'll shake my tushy if it gives me some loot. I'll pop, lock, and drop it. Yeah, I'm going the right way. gonna have quite a few ghouls over here so be prepared to fight maybe usually they're over here yeah that's what I thought I knew there was some ghouls over here they're just being sneaky Grab a Nuka Cola. Always grab Nuka Colas. Alright, let's go report back to Knight Reese and let him know that we have cleared out College Square completely. Not just... Did we loot this raider? We did not. It's like, I don't remember looting him. We can probably stand up at this point. You better have some good news. Am I getting rewarded for this? Dance has authorized me to reimburse you. Affirmative. Impressive. Keep proving your worth. I may start to trust you. Yeah. Now report to Paladin Dance. He said he had a mission for you. When you're ready for another op, you know where to find me. I'm going to rest real quick until it's morning time. I'll see everybody in just a second. Welcome back. I've got another mission for you, if you're ready. Is there anything I can do here at the station? No, I need you in the field. Reese and Halen have things under control for now. Are you ready to go? Ready. Outstanding. Over the years, the Brotherhood has sent several recon teams to the Commonwealth. The last squad went in three years ago. 
They never reported back. Officially, they're missing, presumed dead. Was there a rescue mission? No. The Brotherhood doesn't have the resources or the manpower to conduct a search like that. Everyone who signs up for a recon mission knows the risks. Our lives depend on our training and on each other. But if a team is lost, we honor those who give their lives in the line of duty. We have a responsibility to find out what happened to them, if we can. Where should I begin? Their insertion point was in the hills near Malden. Survey the area and establish a search pattern. Monitor your radio for distress signals. All recon teams are issued distress pulsers that put out a short-range homing beacon. If you can acquire a signal, you should be able to trace it to its source. So what we're going to do is take that off and make sure that we have Jewel of the Commonwealth. We also have the Mechanical Menace um, that we could do. We're not going to do uh, the Automatron DLC right yet. We are going to do it, but we're not going to worry about it right now. Let's go outside. Gonna take a right down this path. Quiet, Sin. You're not talking your way out of this. Please, please help. I don't want to die. No more from you. You're not replacing me. Please, you gotta help me. This guy's a synth, and he, he's gonna kill me and replace me and my family. Oh, God. My kids. Don't you dare bring them up. He's the synth, and he wants to replace me. Please. Please, you gotta believe me. You can't let that thing do this. Hey, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. Then maybe I can help. You're with the Institute? Right, look, this guy knows I'm a synth. So just help me take care of him, all right? Otherwise, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Just kill this thing and be done with it. What? No! Ah! Ah! It's done. I, uh, I need to get out of here. God, I'm still shaking. Hi. Christ, that thing was wearing my face. It's our first random interaction that we could do. Let's go into Fraternal Post 115. We're going to crouch when we get in here. There's not much over here to really loot. Besides some junk. We are going to put our 10 millimeter pistol on though. I'm not going to go that way. Because that's going to lead us to where there's a super mutant named Deadeye. And he will immediately try to run over and set an alarm off. Which we may let him do. But I'm going to wait a minute before I let him do that. Got it. You don't have to lockpick that door. But I do it for the experience, as always. Right here is a... Uh, it won't let me take it out. Okay, so what you gotta do is hack this terminal. It will disengage this safe, its lock, but it'll also turn on the turret if you want. We're gonna turn on the turret in a minute. Sweet. 
attack this terminal. We'll switch back over to our pipe pistol in just a bit here. I'm going to turn off my pit boy lamp though. Now we can turn it back on. Just looting a little bit before we go over there. Nice. This just leads us out to the start of this area or this building let's go ahead and turn off this radio Now, my advice to everybody is don't even bother stepping over there because every time I step over there, the alarm goes off and then super mutants all run in. It's just a hot mess. I don't know why it does, but it does. Nice. Right here we get the Guns and Bullets magazine, which I absolutely love this cover. It's kind of got that thin fatale and pinup girl look to it really cool but this will give us five percent critical damage for all ballistic weapons that's it We're gonna come over here and kill some super mutants that would have ambushed us. Someone there. Ah. Nope, nobody's here. I think they were on a smoke break or their union break. That's why they were over here. They're not chilling with Deadeye. We can stand up now. We're gonna take a right over here by this, I guess, ice cream shop? I don't know. I think it's an ice cream shop. Then we're gonna take a left right over here. We're gonna go inside Cambridge Polymer Labs. Welcome to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Sure, the world may have ended, but why not sit at a desk all day? Let's see what employment opportunities we have available for someone given your qualifications. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question one, do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? Sounds like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tacks. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of sales coordinator. Expect a loquacious future in haggling for military funding. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? Sure, why not? Wonderful. Please 
Please find an open seat, and we will begin the presentation. The genesis of Cambridge Polymer Labs lies in the research of a group of brilliant graduate students. John Elwood, Erica Woolham, and Wilfred Bergman met during their time together at CIT. This slide shows them at their graduation. Their research into nucleostrictive and piezoelectric polymers caught the attention of Colonel George Kemp in the fall of 2073. In the spring of 2074, the company was founded with a generous grant provided by the Defense Experimental Research Project Initiative. The research produced here has resulted in several of the components used in the Liberty Prime Project that led to the successful defense of Anchorage. The company enjoys a strong relationship with the military and welcomes your addition to the research team that helps build a better America. Please follow me to the research lab so that you may begin your work. Complimentary beverages are provided for employees. Please label any food or cigarettes you leave in the break room. Sales staff are provided with a business suit, the cost of which will be deducted from your first commission. Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire and follow me into the clean room. The research staff will greet you on the other side of the clean room. Thank you for your attention and welcome to the team. Please enter the clean room. I have been instructed to Scanning inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Consequently, staff will not be allowed to leave the labs until the piezonucleic lining project has been completed. Please report to the project lead, Dr. Elwood Woolham, for specific research assignment. Starting decontamination sequence. Right there is a terminal you can read get a little bit of lore along with knowing how this works it'll give you information on how all of this works we're gonna grab only the ones that we need this is not one of them that we need I will let everybody know which are the correct samples to pick up There he is. I was like, where the hell is he? Let's switch back over to our pipe pistol. No need to waste our 10 millimeter. Not really wasting it as much as we're just trying to save it for harder situations. And here is the first sample that we're going to get. This is the unknown sample 3111 or 3111. I just like saying the ones a bunch of times. Right over here to our right is going to be a ghoul. Be really careful we have a nuclear reactor right over there. We're going to lockpick this safe. Sweet. So if you couldn't lockpick the safe, 
There's always that terminal for everybody. If you're slick enough, you can run, jump, and make it over there and hack that terminal to get inside there. I'm not really worried about that. I like taking the long route anyways. Grab some Mintats. Sweet roll. We'll steal somebody's sweet roll, right? They don't need it anymore anyways. Should be a ghoul right over here. Sometimes it spawns, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, that sucks. Somebody put rat poison in their tea and drank it. We don't need that sample either. Well, I guess the ghoul didn't want to spawn. Make sure that you're walking over here to the right side so you don't fall down same here okay right here we're gonna fall down take that ghoul out Grab the un unidentified sample 611 or 611. Terminal for anybody that wants to read some lore. Take that hollow tape. That'll give you the password. Be really careful. Disarm all this stuff. And then let's open up the door. We can hop down right here. And then right here in this door, C4. It's going to be a couple of ghouls. Don't worry about that unidentified sample or whatever. Okay, I didn't want to die. Okay, so we're going to go into this terminal right here, and it's going to open up that room. We're going to have a glowing ghoul, so be very careful. There's another sample that you don't need to worry about either. gonna put on our 10 millimeter pistol and then make sure that you put some radix on it is highly irradiated over here and then right here we're gonna get the u238 sample and that is all we need. Now we're gonna start putting the samples in. So on the this left side here, we're gonna put in the 3111 sample. And then on the right side here, we're gonna put in the 611 unidentified sample and then right over here we're gonna put in our isotope U238 we're gonna go in here 
run loaded fabrication routine. And then we're going to see it turn on. We're going to see a chest piece of power armor slide down the conveyor belt. We'll be able to come over here and pick it up. Yes. This is pretty cool. When you're exposed to radiation, it's going to increase your action points refresh speed. So pretty cool. If you're using power armor, that is. Go talk to Molly. I have been instructed to inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Have you completed the research on the Pisa nucleic lining project? The prototype is done. Wonderful. Mandatory overtime mode disengaged. Clean room override disengaged. The director will want to see this immediately. Please, follow me. She is so slow. Director Elwood's office. I expect he will be quite excited to see the prototype. <laughs> Sir, wonderful news! The nucleus restricted plating project has finally produced a working prototype. I must apologize for the director. He hasn't been himself lately. Must be the office flu. Payroll systems indicate that I have been authorized to provide you with a completion bonus at this time. Here is your bonus, minus taxes and benefits. Unfortunately, due to a lack of current projects, we must lay off redundant staff members at this time. This is not a reflection on your work, and we will be happy to provide you with a positive reference. Shutting down. Gee, thanks, lady. A whole twenty-five dollars. Right here is the Massachusetts Surgical Journal. Let's pick that up. Nice. This is an overall good journal or magazine to have for any build that you are playing because it's going to permanently give you. 2% limb damage and that's awesome so you can inflict 2% uh, more limb damage to all enemies go in that terminal if you want read some lore I'm not gonna bother with it we're gonna loot real quick and then we're gonna hop out of here and call it a video got it I did grab that fusion core, didn't I? Yes. That fusion core is always there, by the way. Just a bunch of cabinets over there. Nothing real special.
Alrighty, everyone, this is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.